Hi, welcome to Nasha's Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make these very cute colourful earring studs. They are made with a flat back earring backing and I will show you how to make them step by step. For this project you will need a few things. You'll need Mud Podge fabric tissue glue. You can get this on Amazon and lots of craft shops and you'll need a brush to apply it. You'll need sharp scissors to cut your fabric. And for your fabric, you'll need two little front squares and two little back squares. The front squares are the ones that you will see when you wear your earrings. You will need four little circular discs. You can cut them by hand, or you can use a little paper punch if you have one. You will need two flat back earring backs. You'll also need either a 1.5 millimeter hole punch or a sharp kebab stick and a rubber work perfectly well if you don't have one of these. The first thing I'm going to do is work on the back of my earring. So I'm going to take one of my little discs, these discs happen to be about 1.5 centimeters wide. You can do this with slightly larger ones. That's no problem. So I've put Mod Podge on it. I'm going to turn it over and stick it in the middle of the fabric. And I'm going to do that to both sides. A little bit of Mod Podge, place it in the middle of the fabric. The second step is to take your sharp scissors and just cut a little way around, can you see I'm leaving a gap there? I'm gonna cut around the disc so that I don't have lots of excess fabric getting in my way. Might even cut it just a little bit. You want it about maybe Three, two to three millimeters around the disc. Once you're happy with that, the next step is to cut towards the disc all the way round the fabric. Keep going all the way round and do this to both earring backs. If I show you close up, you can see I've cut little cuts all the way round. I'm now going to make a little mark right in the middle to help me because I need to make a hole. Now, as I said before, there are two ways to make the hole. One is to use this tool, so I'll show you this way. You line it up. If you can see, I'm lining that up carefully so that I can punch on my little mark in the middle. And there I have a hole. If you haven't got this tool, I'll also show you using the rubber and kebab stick. So place your earring in the middle of the rubber and push down until you've created a hole. If it doesn't quite create in the fabric, you can turn it over the other side and work on that hole the other side until it does make a little hole. It is a bit slower, it's not as efficient as the, as the paper, paper cutter, but it works. There we are, we have a little hole, which is perfectly usable. So the next step is to take more Mod Podge and plaster a bit of it on the, on the paper disc and a bit on the fabric that's surrounding it. 
Once you've done that, you're going to fold the fabric in. And you'll see, because you've cut it before, it can fold in and overlap really nicely. The Mod Podge does create sort of little bits, so sometimes you just need to rub your fingers together to get those bits off your fingers. Keep working all the way around, folding in those bits of fabric, making sure that they're securely glued with the Mod Podge. You can even just add a bit more Mod Podge to secure those flaps of fabric and pop some in the middle because what we're now going to do is add our earring finding like this. Can you see that there? We've got a fabric covered disc with the earring finding coming out. And there, it's still coming in and out there, but that's all right because we're going to make, we're basically going to sandwich the earring finding by creating another disc in a little while, which will go on top. So we'll have like a sandwich to secure it. The next step is to do pretty much the same thing with your front bit of the sandwich. So your remaining disc. So Mod Podge on your disc of, paper, of card. Place it on the faded side of the fabric so that you've got the bright color of the fabric in the front. Cut around it like we did before. And then you're going to do pretty much the same steps that you did for the back to the front. So again, you're going to go around cutting. You're going to fold these in with the glue, with the Mod Podge, and then you're going to sandwich these onto the back. So I've done one so that you can see what it looks like. One little stud complete. And now I'm going to finish off the last one. So this is my covered front and I'm going to place it on the covered back. I'm just going to add a touch more glue to the back. So a little bit more Mod Podge. And now we're going to sandwich in the earring finding by adding the front. This bit requires a little bit of patience. So you squeeze them together all the way around, gently squeezing. If you have little bits of glue that squeeze out, paste them along the edge so that they seal the fabric. This is the great thing about Mod Podge is that it stops the fabric from fraying and seals it. If there are little lumps of glue, you can do this and they start to come off. You can see a bit more there. Just use your fingers do that, you can see that the glue has started to come off in the little lamps. It's good to keep wiping your hands uh, so that any little bits of glue don't re-stick back on. But you just keep pressing for a little bit, a minute or two, probably two minutes. Make sure that 
on the back you're happy with everything and then patiently wait for your earrings to dry for a little while and I'll show you what I usually do to the edges and you can make a choice how you want to do the very edges of your earrings. So there are several ways to finish off your earring. One way I've used is acrylic uh, bronze paint and I've painted it around the edge. Another way was I just used nail varnish, shiny nail varnish. I don't really like the silver colour but it does work. And the other way is to use a sharpie or permanent marker and draw around the edge. Personally I prefer the fabric paint or acrylic paint. It doesn't even have to be fabric paint because you're not going to swim with these. So it would be perfectly fine to use acrylic paint around the edges. If you love this tutorial, please do like and subscribe and check out my artwork on Insta and Facebook.